Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome to Nagalius. I was under the impression that this game's name was Nostalgius, but I guess it's Nagalius. So this is, well, actually, I guess we better, um, better get into the story right off the bat then. I'm gonna let this play out a little bit before I dive into the story, actually, because it's scrolling a little bit slow. There, okay. Nagalius is looking for his daughter, who had been caught by evil Dorama. She is being kept in Dorama's castle in this adventure. Nagalius will face challenges, enemies, and mid-puzzles. Mid-puzzles? In a world full of surprises while Dorama waits for the best opportunity to make him... To make him... Disappear. I don't know if that... Was that a pause for dramatic effect, or was that... The game or my computer not jiving so well. I'm not sure. So this is a this is a cool game that the company that made it or the people that made it actually reached out to me and were like, "Hey, we have this game that we just developed. Would you be interested in trying it out on your channel?" I was like, "Hell yeah, I'll give it a go." Especially, it looks like the old retro 2D style aesthetic, and that's obviously something I'm really into. So figured I'd give it a go, and it does have full controller support. I'm playing it with an Xbox One controller here, and that's always great. So let's just uh, let's just dive right in here. I know very little about this game. Okay, X is to go. That's a little strange, but okay. Nagalius and his wonderful daughter Marriott live in Resetters. Oh, okay. Uh, fucking my mic is really not cooperating. But Evil Dorama wants to kidnap Marriott. Nagalius just thinks of being back home with her. Okay, is this, this is like an Adventure Island thing where the, the eagle kidnaps your lady, except it's your daughter. Okay, so... Oh, it's got like a Mario 3 overworld. Um, yeah, let's... Oh, shit, I meant to do the tutorial. Well, I guess we're just gonna figure it out as we go. Okay, so that's jump. Oh! I died already? Okay. Okay! This is tough! Okay, I can climb stuff. Ah! <laughs> so this game is a little bit harder than I was expecting. I gotta focus a little bit here. I like the art style, though. Oh, son of a... F I'm trying not to swear, especially since this is... You know, it was a game that was sent to me for free. And I'm, I want to do it justice here, but... This is a little difficult. This is a little harder than I was expecting for a first level. You can continue three times. Let's go no, and let's just start from the top. Yeah, game over. <laughs> let's start from the top on that one. That was shameful. This was tough. Yeah, let's play. Actually, you know what? Uh, this time, I'm gonna do the tutorial. Hello, I'm the wise man. I'll be the guide through the adventure. Listen carefully to me. It's very important that you know the d how the dashboard works and what you can do with it. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm a little bit better prepared to do this now. I watched the tutorial. Um, one thing I will say right off the bat here, I have a feeling that the guy who made this game, his first language is not English. And for that, oh, I can't, where am I going here then? I have a feeling that his first language is not English because the, the, the grammar and the, the syntax isn't quite perfect. Oh God. I'm not doing much better, am I? But, even with that said, so far I'm enjoying the game. It looks like um, NES meets Flash game. And that is so like totally my aesthetic. Okay, so I can jump on this or also misdirect it. Arrow. So am I riding this over to here? Oh, arrow. No? Okay, um, I'm, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going here, I gotta say. Uh, okay, the game does, it controls well. I gotta say, the controls, um, they're a little counterintuitive though. Like, the button mapping is a little bit, um, strange. Am I trying to get to the skeleton up there? No. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? I like the music, by the way. This 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 game has a nice vibe to it. Okay, so I I'm, I'm guessing I gotta grab the key up there, which I don't know where. Oh, what what hit me? Was there a drop of water? 
Why is the water killing me? Oh, son of a bitch. This is this game is hard, man. This is game is not for the faint of hearted. Oh, why why did the platform redirect itself too? I have a lot of questions, I got to admit. <laughs> a lot more questions than answers that I died. And I died. This would be you know, I do actually get quite a few games like thrown my way with people being like, "Hey, do you want to try my game?" Oh, and that's cool. I really appreciate that. All you like indie developers supporting these small channels like myself, giving us Okay, so now I can go over. You know, giving us access codes and whatnot. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so is that a bomb? What did I do with that? Okay. Yes, continue. I, I I don't know what this item does. Is that blue fire death or is that a is that a like a weapon for me? Oh, that's a snake. Oh, I can't jump on their heads. Oh, I went up. Okay. And now I go back down. So I'm. Oh, oh, never mind. I I am liking this game. Oh, the blue fire. Oh, it was the wise man. Sometimes there are more game field beyond the sky. That's what I mean. You can tell that the, the guy who wrote this is um, first language is not English. It does control very well, by the way. Oh, I can use. I've been using the D-pad just because it looks like an NES game, but you don't have to use the D-pad. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I go down? Oh, okay, that was weird. Ah, you... I wish it was not one-hit deaths, man. I wish it was not one-hit deaths. That's... Oh, okay. Yes, continue. And this is definitely the kind of game where you're... You're supposed to, like... Oh, what? Oh, that's that's death down there. Okay. Oh, how how, do, how would I jump that high then? Oh, and the water is death. Everything in this game kills you. Okay, so I gotta start over. Apparently, <laughs> this is uh, this is a tough one. I I enjoy the look. I really like the sound and the music, and the look of it's really good. This is a little bit tougher though. Especially for like your opening levels, then I might recommend. I gotta say, uh, no, I don't want to do the tutorial. Let's let's see now that I know what I'm doing though, if I can do any better than I was before. Oh yeah, first try. All right, now that I know what I'm actually doing. Yeah, I I know, old man. What's up, old man? Now that I know what I'm actually doing, this is, uh... This is a little bit better. Oh, okay. Why did that kill me? Oh, do, do I have to get the key again now because that killed me? I do. So this is where I was before. Oh, okay, and this is this is where I was before. Okay. Yes, continue. Ah, oh, that's... That is such a hard jump to make, man. Especially right out of the gate. How, how would I... How would I even... Because he's going to chop that off. He's going to chop that off. Oh, it grows back. Okay. I didn't realize that it grows back. Oh, and there's a key down here. Oh, th then that kills me. Oh, I drained the water. How did I drain the water? Oh, there is a lot going on here, man. <laughs> I gotta say, there is a lot going on here. All right, there we go. I made it, assuming I don't die here, I made it another screen. So, I get the feeling that the whoever made this, this is probably their first game or one of their first games. Um, I gotta say, it controls very well. Okay, I just died from something. It controls very well. Oh, lightning, I guess. Uh, oh, what? Oh, I guess you see, you have to gauge where the clouds are, I guess. Yeah, it controls really well. I like the aesthetic, I like the music. Oh, this, this is... 
This is bringing me flashbacks of Beyond Oasis, so when the platforms would never line up. Yeah. It controls very well, I like the music, I really like the aesthetic. I feel like the difficulty, though, is a little bit much out of the gate. Like, I feel like you could have maybe thrown thrown the player a bone a little bit here, man, because this is a little... Oh, I made it. Oh, my God. So, I don't know if the guy is intentionally, like, the creator is intentionally making it super hard, or this is supposed to be, like, a battle kid kind of situation, you know, where the game... It's, oh, really? Uh, where the game is supposed to be incredibly hard, or if just it is. Oh god, and there's fire on there. Yes, continue. So I, d I don't know if this is intentional or if this is just a byproduct or what. Definitely the game is a little bit harder than it needs to be for a game right off the bat, though, I gotta say. Um, okay, where's... Um... Oh, oh, it looked like the bridge came back. Um... Do I have to climb up top, maybe? Um, okay. No? What do I do here, then? The backgrounds look... They remind me almost of, like, Shovel Knight. Alright, well, I am legitimately stumped. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. Nothing seems to really be doing anything. The arrow's not over here, so I can't progress. I don't... Um... Okay. Okay? The old man just gave me a key. What, what did I do that made that happen? Um, so, I don't think I'm gonna get that much more out of this game. I like the game. I do. I think it's got some cool ideas. And I think it's got a great art style, a great soundtrack. It's pretty cool. I do feel like... It could use a bit of polish, though. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like the grammar... So I can talk to Wells, I guess. I found magic stones, but you have left some things behind. Well, yeah. Um, I do feel like... Oh, oh, so I'm gonna fight a boss. Yeah, this is a great place to end it. Oh, that's an awesome boss. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? That was cool until it randomly killed me for no reason. Um, this was fun. I enjoyed it. It has a lot of cool ideas. I like the art style. I like the music. I like the aesthetic. I feel like it's a little bit too hard, though. I feel like the beginning stages should kind of ease you into it a little bit more. And that was just like right out of the bat, like bam, 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 bam. And I did most of the tutorial as well. So... I feel like that could use a bit of work, definitely fix up the grammar, but I feel like this game has a lot of potential. I had a lot of fun playing it, I definitely, um, what is it, Lu Golu 3 go I hope that's how I say your name. I definitely feel like you've, you've made something cool here, with a little bit of polish, a little bit of tweaks, a few updates, you could turn this into a really fun game. I definitely had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how much this actually sells for, let me see. Okay, so apparently the game goes for eleven forty nine Canadian. Um, I don't know how much that would be um, American. Uh, I guess I can show here. I'd say that's probably a little bit high. I would I would expect more like four ninety nine, five ninety nine for a game like this. I do feel like this game has a lot of potential, and I had a good time playing it. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for sending me the code. I definitely enjoyed it. If you yourself are looking at this and you're interested in it, you can find it here on Steam under Nagalius. Uh, it is fun. It has trophies. It has high scores, leaderboards. I like the promotional material. It, it does look like a cool game, but I do feel like it could use a little bit of polish. A few little fixes here and there to really make it a better experience, at least at the beginning. Because I definitely, I found it was a little bit difficult right off the bat. And it would have been nice to have like a couple starting levels to ease you into the ideas instead of just kind of throwing you to the wolves right out of the gate. And yeah, guys, if you're interested, definitely check this game out. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir. This is Phil the Dreamer. Yo. Welcome back to the Oasis Beyond. Yeah, we just killed uh, the set of Third Eye Blind. And we're now in...
There's some people yelling outside, so if you know what they're saying, let us know in the subtitles. And yeah, we just beat Spectre Knight. That was actually pretty fucking hard. Yeah, you got pretty good at... Uh,